Hey, this is Adrian from Callfluent AI, and in this video, I will walk you through um, how we can configure AI voice calling agents um, for realistic conversation. This is going to be your ultimate voice agent configuration blueprint that you're ever going to need. And during this video, uh, we will show you how you can configure the type of agents that we use for sales and support teams. Um, how you can create them from scratch like you, if you whatever it's outbound or inbound agents the configuration kind of stays the same um with confluent ai configuring this voice um uh, calling agents uh, ai agents are quite simple it's a three-step wizard configuration screen uh that literally takes you about five minutes to get them uh, up and running so here's how one of my agents actually this is the agent right that we have on our landing landing page if you want to test it out you can go ahead and check it out on our landing page you can have a real conversation uh, with one of our configured agent and this is the configuration options that we have for him like we already made about 5,000 calls uh, for people interested in implementing um, AI voice agents in their business, right? So configuration is quite simple. The first step would be to, you know, select an avatar, give your agent a name, select language. We support over 30 languages right off the gate. We have uh, six voices that are uh, supported here for male and two female. I'm going to be adding more. Uh, also, we have 11 labs integration. So if you want to bring your clone voice, your own AI voice, into Confluent AI, that is possible. Now, once you select your voice, you have the phone numbers, you can select phone numbers, you can set up your welcome message, you can have call recordings on and off, you can have voice uh, message on or off, depending on your preferences. This is for more privacy. We also integrated an anti-fraud protection, which means you can block a certain type of numbers that you do not want um, to be able to be called from your agent. Or call your agent right we also have voicemail detection this is a new feature uh, if we detect that is a voice robot or machine you can either leave a voice message or simply hang up the call and you know once this is done you can save your changes and move to the next step now next step would be setting up your agent behavior uh, where you can select between sales representative support agent lead engagement uh, you can uh, even set the tone of your agent so we have from professional to conversational, humorous, empathic, to simple, academic, and creative. Uh, setting up your goal, background, instructions. I'll go over all of this in depth during this training. Uh, so let me return to the basic slides over here. And Confluent AI is a sophisticated tool designed to automate and enhance phone call interactions by mimicking human-like um, conversation. This technology is powered by advanced artificial intelligence enabling seamless and realistic dialogue with customers. And it ensures that the agents operate effectively within the defined parameters, providing a consistent and high quality user experience. Now, the benefits of using AI powered voice calling agents is first, you got increased efficiency. AI call agents can handle a high volume of calls simultaneously, reducing the wait times and improving service efficiency overall. You get consistent, uh, consistent customer experience. The AI agents provide uniform service, ensuring every call receives the same level of attention and information. You got 24 seven availability. Unlike human agents, AI voice calling agents can operate around the clock, providing support and any time of the day or night. And cost savings, it goes without saying that automating phone interactions can significantly reduce the labor costs and operational expense of your business. Now, let's get started with explaining what is the agent goal and how you can, you know, set this up for your purpose. Okay, so agent goal is quite important because it defines the purpose of the call. You know, you in this section, you're going to define the main objective of the call example, you know, scheduling appointments, gathering feedback, closing sales. And also it's important to define your ultimate goal. This outlines the end of result that the agent aims to achieve during this call. Now I'm going to show you my example from here. Uh, let's scroll top of the page. Now for my particular reason, for my particular example, my goal is to establish a good connection with the caller and convince them that Callfluent AI is the right choice for their business, ultimately convince the caller to purchase Callfluent AI and implement it in their daily business routine. Now, this is my ultimate goal and the purpose of the call. 
so again, let's let's go deep dive into it. The purpose of the call is to clearly establish the primary reason for the AI voice calling agent's interaction with the caller. This could include a variety of objectives such as scheduling appointments, gathering customer feedback, providing information, closing sales. You can engage in sales conversational to promote and finalize the purchase of the products and services. Now, the ultimate goal is a specific outcome that the AI voice calling agent aims to achieve by the end of the, the purpose of this call is to assist you with scheduling an appointment for our services. Now, the ultimate goal is to confirm your appointment and ensure that you have all the necessary details to prepare for your visit. Uh, moving on to the next step, the agent background, uh, where you need to set your uh, agent's expertise and skill set, right? You can, uh, here you can, you know, name the agent that you will use, um, add it personality, add expertise and skill sets, and also add experience of the agent. It goes without saying that the agent's name is going to introduce themselves as a friendly, approachable name to create personal connection with the caller. Like, hey, my name is Alex. The personality, this is where you set characteristics to the agent's personality should reflect traits that are con conductive to effective communication and customer satisfaction. Now, key traits include, you know, friendly, professional, empathic, and patient. You can mention all of this in your agent's background expertise and skill set right here's where you define the areas that are relevant to the business and the nature of the calls which you know that includes your customer service uh product knowledge problem solving communication these are type of skill sets that the agent can have agent's experience uh, here is you know where you give it qualification a brief overview of the agent's professional background to build credibility with the caller you know, with over five years experience in customer service, Alex has a deep understanding of clients needs and effective communication strategies. Alex has helped numerous customers navigate to our services smoothly and efficiently. These are just some of the examples you can use as agent uh, background. Now the magic unfolds basically under agent instructions because this is where you tell how your agent should behave during the conversation. So here is going, you're going to be setting up the agent's behavior and instruction prompts. So behavior, it's, uh, you know, greeting and report building techniques, active listening, response adaption while keeping conversation natural and human like knowledge base is also where you place your, you know, provide basic company information and key products or services you offer FAQs, product information, service information and contact information, operational hours. Here is where you set all of these things inside Coldflow and AI. Uh, also, in the same field, you can set the rules for the agent um, to follow, which means you can craft your converse, uh, conversation etiquette and guidelines, ensuring legal and compliance adherence, confirm calls, requests, and, and question answering. Like in my example, um, mine is a little bit long, but because we have um, the secret in having su successful um, agent configuration is to build an initial instructions set and then go ahead with the widget on the right you can you know test your agent have a couple of conversation put yourselves in your customers uh shoes build use cases and have you know um a conversation with the agent until you find that your agent is following all of the instructions and it's you know um knowing everything that you would like him to know during a call you go you can make this a little bit uh, extended like i have over here uh let's go ahead back and uh, go through it uh, together you know for agent behaviors you know you, you have to focus on greeting and report building active listening and response adaption uh, natural and human-like conversation avoid scripted responses that sound robotic use natural language in conversational phrases you know example instead of your appointment has been scheduled uh, just you know make the bot say I've got your appointment set for um, and adapting to the caller's need, this is also important because you can tailor responses based on the caller's tone, pace, and content. Um, if the caller sounds hurried, be concise and to the point. If the caller sounds unsure, provide reassurance and detailed explanation. Uh, as part of the knowledge base, you can add basic company information, like briefly introduce the company and its mission. Uh, you know, example, at the company name, at, a, at your company, we specialize on providing top-notch services and products to help you and insert the benefits. So this is kind of um, fill in the blanks uh, type of examples, which you can, you know, just replace this with your own and the bot is going to be configured the right way. Um, also provide an overview of the main products or services that you offer. Um, for example, we offer range services, including service one, two and three. 
uh, add them to the knowledge base. You can add FAQ section. You can prepare answers for frequently asked questions to provide a quick and accurate responses. Um, content information and escalation procedures can also be trained into the behavior of the agent. There's also rules that you can set for your agent from conversation etiquette and guidelines, maintaining a calm and ca composed tone, legal and compliance adherence. Um, and now moving on to the agent sales script. This is where you're going to be setting up the, um, the flow of the conversation and you can guide this agent to follow certain instructions and certain phone call scripts. Now I say sales scripts, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a sales script. It can be a booking script. It can be a simple phone call scripts that you want the agent to follow along. Like great guideline for this is you need to have an introduction is how the agent introduces themselves and the purpose of the call. Then you, you state the purpose, starting the reason for the call. You got an engagement, you got to uh, engaging with the caller and asking questions to understand their needs so you can better tailor all of the responses. Pitching, presenting the product service and its benefits, this is the last part. But the most important part is to first establish a good connection. Uh, you can ask for their name so the um, so the phone conversation is going to be addressed on the first name. You can ask for the, um, you know, business uh, niche or struggles that they have so the rest of the conversation actually adapts to uh particular use cases and business types and you know struggles that your customers may have right in my scenario i can show you uh something that we've developed for our own agent so here's the introduction we usually wait for user response because we have the welcome message and once they give us the response then we have hey there username how are you today we wait for the response, right? You can use placeholders inside Callflow AI. So if you have their username and email and, and phone number, you can use them inside your scripts. You can have like discovery section where I'm basically asking this question, like, okay, that's great to hear. Whatever their responses are, I want to say, okay, that's great to hear. So before we dive in, I'd love to learn more about a bit, uh, a, a little bit more about your business. What industry uh, or niche are you in? Uh, and once they provided this response, I can, you know, craft the rest of my script based on their uh, business or niche. So all of the calls are going to be highly customizable and personalized for with their name and their business needs. OK, now during this uh, call uh, scripts, you can also make use of handling objections, this addressing and overcoming common objections that they may have. Uh, closing, you know, finalizing the call with a clear call to action at the end of the call and follow up, writing a contact information for further assistance to your uh, customers. Now, there's a couple of voice agent use cases uh, with examples from real world AI voice calling agents, scenarios and configuration that you can make use of. We've seen a lot of usage in real estate. A use case for real estate company could be the agent goal, schedule property viewings and answer initial queries. The agent background can be personality, expertise, and experience for the real estate agent. Um, agent instruction, this is specific guidelines for real estate conversation, knowledge base, details, and rules. Uh, and also the agent sales script, it's tailored script for real estate calls, focusing on booking viewings and providing property information. Um, so as you can see, for a real estate company, you can have agent goals. The purpose of the call would be to schedule property viewings and provide initial information about available properties that we have for up for sale. Uh, the ultimate call is, you know, to book an appointment for a property viewing and ensure that the caller has all the necessary information about it. Now, the agent background can be uh, their name is Emma, a friendly, knowledgeable and trustworthy expert in real estate, skilled in understanding clients needs and property features, pre-efficient in using real estate databases and CRM systems. With over 10 years in real estate industry, Emma has a wealth of knowledge about the local market and the property trends. Emma has successfully helped numerous clients uh, find their dream homes and well versed in handling all type of properties increase. Now, this is like, you know, the agent background and the agent instructions can be something like this. The behavior can be uh, the greeting and reporting building. Hello, this is Emma from, you know, real estate agency. How can I assist you with your property needs today? Active listening and response adaption. I understand you're looking for a property in mentioned location. Can you tell me more about what you're looking for? Uh, this is a natural and human-like conversation. I found a few properties that might uh, interest. Would you like me to? Would you like to hear more about them? Uh, adapting the caller's needs. You can tailor the responses based on the caller's preferences and queries. If the caller is interested in a specific type of property, 
focus on that category alone. Let's see what, what else we need to add. The knowledge base this is basic company information, uh, the key properties, the FAQs, the contact uh, information and escalation procedures, you know, the rules. Um, this applies. This is just some, you know, use cases uh, for particular real estate businesses. Uh, and we have one for restaurant as well. So the possibilities are limitless here. You can, you know, adapt this AI voice agents to any type of businesses out there from real estate to uh, marketing agencies, restaurants, uh, hotels, you know, spa environment, uh, whatever kind of uh, businesses you work with or are in, uh, this will work for you and it will revolutionize your, your business. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or need technical assistance, you know, you can reach out to our support. Uh, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, you can simply go ahead and check our YouTube channel. We have a lot of videos over here. So make sure you also subscribe to the channel and I look forward in seeing you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.